Tycon, Topo, Dispo. Them lame ass characters, man. You want them lame ass characters over Ultra Instinct Goku? So look at the screen. Look at so stop. Cut the music off. Look at the screen. Look dead at the screen. Pretend you're looking at me. Look, look at that picture of me. You're gonna look me dead in my eye and tell me that if Arc System Works released a PyCon trailer, or a Future Trunks trailer, a Super 17 trailer, or a Mega Shenron trailer, and they're sitting there, you know, they got all their moves, the graphics are looking clean, and you got PyCon doing Hyper Tornado, whatever that move was called, or Flame Tornado, that little move where he like spins around and does a little tornado. You're telling me that you're not gonna be excited for that? Yeah, stop fucking bullshitting me. Stop fucking lying, okay? No, nigga. Is that what you wanted me to say? God damn. <laughs> Bless. I don't sleep on no beef. We ain't sleeping no beef. You know I'm on top of everything. Lurk, run grass, yeah. and they don't shoot cribs. They gon' give you one chance. What? Like, boy. come outside or we gon' come in, boy. <laughs> when I pull up and make them catch a lot. <laughs> Blue beam on that top. Come ain't come ain't hot. I throw them dragon balls at you like I'm Kakarot. <laughs> So this is a quick video responding to a, a YouTuber that I used to follow, um, King Phantom. He became he used to be a Xenoverse 2 YouTuber, but he became more of like a ranting slash, um, I guess like he used to do uh, he used to do skits from time to time, but now he kind of does like like 10 minute plus rants where he can kind of cover some stuff in like maybe five minutes, but he kind of goes overboard with some of the ranting. Um, and it's not really shots at that, just like just a, just some basic criticism, but. Um, he did a video kind of responding to one of my comments and he said he wouldn't really like, you know, show <laughs> He wouldn't really show information about like the stuff he's commenting to but he proceeds to show like my name or whatnot and <laughs> He kind of goes in on this whole little tirade that Dragon Ball Fighter is no and, like literally just kind of misrepresenting what I said because he said that I thought that Bojack and PyCon were lame or, or like, you know, like, who wants these lame characters? And he just goes in this whole tirade saying that, shut the fuck up, y'all was bitching about this, y'all was bitching about that, and y'all still play this. You know, just, just going on a very long tirade and kind of being hella disrespectful for, like, no reason. <laughs> so, his whole point is that y'all pretty much buy whatever, like, Arxis makes up for Dragon Ball Fighters because y'all think things just look cool. And here's some basic stuff here. Um, PyCon, actually, here's the biggest thing. Everyone asked for Janimba, right? Everyone asked for this character, everyone wanted this character, and no one plays this character. Dragon Ball fan base has a big thing where they ask and complain for things that make no sense and they will never play. <laughs> um, people ask for PyCon in almost every game and don't play this character. People ask for BoJack and don't play this character. There's, there's basic stuff in like Dragon Ball games like, like Dokkan, um, Xenoverse 2, different datas where they show where characters are played, and these characters are played the least. There's nothing wrong with having a variation of a character, they play different, and people want them. There's a reason why Future Gohan is wanted. And you're saying that you do, you're tired of like, like multiple variants of a character, Baby Vegeta is another Vegeta, if you're going by this logic. So, I get his point, but it makes no sense. I don't play Videl. Like, yeah, Videl look cool because they're animations, but guess what? I didn't play her. Like, even with, like, Broly or whatnot, he looks cool, but he's another variation of Broly, but everyone's hyped for Broly. So, I, I, I get it why you're you're feeling attacked or something, but you gotta understand that your opinion is in the minority. And, like I said, this is business. No one's gonna just make a random-ass character because they're obscure. People want popular characters in these games. So, I don't get this whole tirade you're going into when you want like a Super Android 17 or you want this is... No one even plays Ad, a Super Android 17 in Xenoverse 2. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying about the Dragon Ball community. We complain and complain about things that we don't want and we're not going to play. Like, again, the people usually only play the most po popular OP characters. You are correct, though, that people complain about GT Goku. I did, too. And I visually grew on the character because he, because I like OG Dragon Ball. I wanted either a kid Goku that was all the way Dragon Ball, or I wanted Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But I was like, you know what? I was gonna set these kid Goku with some GT um, fan service, and I liked him after that. But I didn't make a video complaining about him. But wasn't because he was not a Goku. It's because I didn't like the Goku they gave me. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is like no disrespect towards the guy, but this whole like telling everyone to shut the fuck up and like making the assumption of what people want. I don't feel like that's a good idea, and bro, shorten the videos. Like, I used to watch it, but after a point, you repeated the same subject, like, three times, and just made it ten minutes long for no reason. Like, it's okay to make a video maybe five minutes. But, um, yeah, I just want to do a quick video response to that, because that was just, 
really unnecessary. <laughs> I was like, I wonder when my, my comic's going to show up. And it shows like at like 522 or 5, uh, 520. And it just goes in this whole tirade. I'm just like, bro, chill out. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Sunday job, peace. Love you all.